today, we will see certain misconceptions related to multiplication of rational numbers. Misconception 1. The length of a rectangular field is 51 by 2 meter and the breadth is 19 1 by 4 meter. Find the total area of the field. Here, we will have to find the total area of the rectangular field. Area of the rectangle is equal to length into breadth, which is equal to 50 and a half into 19 1 by 4 meter square. While multiplying 50 1 by 2 and 19 1 by 4, many times children multiply the whole parts separately and the incomplete fraction parts separately. Here, they multiply 50 and 19 and multiply 1 by 2 and 1 by 4 and together they get the result 950 1 by 8 meter square, which is option 1. This is incorrect. Remember that while multiplying such numbers, we must express them in the form of p by q. Like here, we express 50 1 by 2 as 101 by 2 and 19 1 by 4 as 77 by 4 and then we multiply these numbers. If we multiply 101 by 2 with 77 by 4, we get the answer 7777 by 8. We can express this as 972 1 by 8. Therefore, the area of the rectangle is 972 1 by 8 meter square. So option 2 is the correct answer. Misconception 2. Which operation from the following will result in a positive rational number? Ignoring the symbol while multiplying two rational numbers makes some simple mistakes, as some children understand that the sign of the first number is given in the result. They see that the first number in option 1 is positive, so the result of that operation is also assumed to be positive. For this reason, they give the answer as option 1. The sum of two negative rational numbers is negative. Some children consider this understanding to be true for multiplication as well and believe that the product of two negative rational numbers is also negative. Therefore, they start accepting option 2 as an incorrect answer. But the correct understanding is that the product of two negative rational numbers is always a positive rational number. Hence, the correct answer is option 2. Today, we saw certain misconceptions related to the multiplication of rational numbers. Thank you.